I'm going to need this to share. Okay. Uh, here we are back at our show and tell. And this is Kaylee Myers. She's a fantastic artist. And her boyfriend, Ron. Ron. Tell us a little bit about why you're here and what are you going to show us? I'm here because I really love this place and the people and the community it brings together. And I was very excited to show my boyfriend this place because it kind of feels like a second home every time I come here. Um, and I think show and tell is just a really fun, it's just a really fun event. It brings my inner child out and I got really happy to just do a little carefree thing that I didn't have to really prepare for. But I still get to be with people and connect with people tonight. So I'm very grateful to be here. <laughs> um, hi everyone, nice to meet you. My name is Ryan. Um, I'm here because uh, Kaylee was kind enough to, to bring me here and, and mention what you guys do. Um, I am not in the art space by any means, so it's been cool to kind of like venture into, uh, it's kind of like a whole new world is opening up and there's just so much, uh, so many cool different creations and things, and different avenues that are really, really exciting to, uh, to experience. So just looking around has been super cool. Um, but I'll let, I'll let Kaylee explain Ghost Bear here for a little bit. Yeah, so I'd love to pass them around. I'm gonna show them with the camera, and then everyone can pass them around, touch them, look at them, feel them. Um, so about two months ago, I was struggling a bit mentally. I was having some anxiety, and um, I make really complex art with pens. And so, Every now and then, if I get really stressed like that, I'll revert back to doing something very simple. And to me, when I was little, I grew up making little clay food, because um, I saw it on YouTube channels. It was really popular when I was growing up. And so I started making these cute little animals out of clay and resin. And so this one doesn't represent it well, but Ryan um, was like, you should add swords, because we read a lot of fantasy books. Like, you should make them little fantasy characters. So. We started making jesters, and um, there's the just there's the ducks, the bears, and the frogs. Um, and now we have a business, and it's called Adorable Arsenal, and it's doing really well. We're going to our third fair tomorrow. The ghost bear doesn't really like represent the brand, but I like the ghost bear. It's like a seasonal little guy, and I carry him around with me. Um, and it's it's kind of when I was I was on the way in the car here, and I was holding it, and I was thinking about it. Um, and it is very representational to me now and symbolic, I feel like, of uh, just the little joy and the things that can come out of the harder times in life. And like, I feel like that's how creativity works is um, something hard, you know, something happens and then you create with it. Um, and these bring a lot of joy to people and I've been very happy with just the way it's been received. I think I was very surprised by how many people can really resonate or who come into the booth and like the kids that smile and the adults that smile from it. So very grateful for that. And that Ryan, so Ryan writes the backstories for all of them. So all of them come with backstories and he's a really good writer. And I have loved, I've always wanted to collaborate with someone on like a project. So I've really enjoyed being able to do that. And he also created like a whole map where they live. So for the backstories you can pull out. So. They come with the little guy, the backstory, a little scroll with like a thank you letter, and it's just like a whole thing, and I love it. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, I know, I know. Um, yeah, she made these like really, really cute animals, and I always thought it was silly to like take something like really small and really cute, but like give it like a big sword or like have it be some sort of like really powerful thing. I like the dichotomy between those two things. I think is silly. Um, and then it kind of like transformed into very like fantasy, Dungeons and Dragons oriented things. So um, yeah, it's been cool. There's, a, there's like a very interesting cross section of people that like it, um, which I think is, is, is really fun. Um, I do not know, I'm not planning to present something, but um, this is a, a bracelet that I bought in Kyoto, Japan. Um, I went in April with my family and I got it at the um, Cuban City Art Temple. Um, and I sort of was talking them, but I really like it because it has like, I, I'm not sure maybe you know more about exactly the process of, of how it's made, but it has like, it's very 
bright and like catches the light really well, which I think is, um, I just like the way that it looks mainly, but um, it's a cool souvenir and reminds me of a, a fun trip with my family, which was um, a lot of fun earlier this year. I love it. Can I, yeah, can I see it? Tell them about Japan and your relationship with Japan. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm a, I, I love Japan. Um, so I was an international relations major in, um, in college for undergrad, and uh, we have to pick like a regional focus um, and learn a language, and I chose Japan. I've always thought it was really, really pretty, um, and I think the language is, is really beautiful. So um, I've gone a few times now, um, I think, yeah, three times now, and uh, this is the first time that I went to Kyoto, and I got to take my family, which was super fun, uh, my dad and my brother, and it was during cherry blossom season in April, so it was just gorgeous all around. Um, highly recommend, and if you need any recommendations, let me know. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. You know, uh, whenever Kevin was telling me about the characters and the backstories in your uh, relationship, and which is beautiful, thank you so much. But she also kind of referenced that it's a, a backstory of like not so much Dungeons and Dragons, which it's related to, but it's about uh, goodness, and uh, I, which I love. Can you speak a little bit to that? Yeah, so when I was writing the backstory, I, I wanted to give it like, I knew that like a lot of kids are probably going to be buying them, um, and I wanted to like keep it cheerful, keep it happy, keep it positive. Um, so, and most of the stories when I was writing, I tried to follow like, tried to like, okay, show kind of how this person came to be where they are, or how this character came to be where they are, whether it's like a bear fighting in a war or something, um, and then like, zoom out, broader picture, like, try to connect to some theme that is overall positive, whether it be, like, camaraderie or, like, companionship or care, you know, whatever it may be. Um, just because I, I, I wanted, overall, like, these are supposed to, like, the little guys are supposed to, to bring happiness and joy to people, so I wanted the stories to, to do the same thing and to, like, people to really resonate with them, so, um, I think they're good. I, I, I like them. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't got any negative complaints yet, so we'll, we'll see, but, um, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun to, to write them really inspiring to have good, you know, related to, you know, something that's really that we all experience in life, and then all of a sudden you go, okay, well, you can do this, and it'll turn out like this. So it's fun, too. Yeah, my favorite is the jester. My favorite story is we have jesters, and he talks about how the jesters in the wartime make people happy. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all in war for this island called the Grand Jelly Bean. So it's a little bit silly. But you'll get to see the whole islands, and then Jelly Bean is going to evolve. Yeah. Yeah. On it all. And she will be having a pop up here at the end of the month for Shop Small. And all the characters will be here. You yeah. get to see the backstories too. And hopefully, it'll just go nationwide. No, international. <laughs> right? <laughs> Japan. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. We'll have a store soon. Mm -hmm. uh, does anybody have any questions? Yeah, so the website should be posted by the end of the night because we have our third fair tomorrow and I've been working so hard on it. I will write it down and give it to you. It's just, the brand is called Adorable Arsenal. And so it's just gonna be adorablearsenal.com. And then she'll show them here on our pop-up. Shop small, she'll be here. Hopefully she has enough critters because she keeps selling out. <laughs> All the critters. Anything else? Yeah, we're all good. Thank you guys so much. Oh, I'm sorry. I should let y'all know that Haley is now. Uh, she's one of our uh, attendants, cover girls here. She'll be working here at the gallery too. So, yeah. thank you. gave us such a nice introduction and question. Oh, yeah. I can hear. I can find some photos of other ones. That was a little bit. Yeah, that's a crack. That's why I can't tell. Next one. 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 Next one.
I'm sure he has pictures. I actually yeah. left my phone at home. Oh, okay. I know, I know your mom sent me a video. Oh, you can see them. I'm up here to fall in love I with them. I know, that's what I was like, that's so cute. She showed them to me. It's the whole packaging of it, too. Yeah, the backstory, the packaging, and what all you get for it. But um, I, it's, oh, I'm recording.